Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today we're doing a little bit of maintenance here because uh, it's bloody cold outside and my data center is freezing. It's almost at a point where I need to remove ice from the servers before I can work on them. So I have the weirdest setup here. So let's get that out of here. Uh, this is the air intake of my data center and with it being this cold outside and uh, I have consolidated so much on my servers that I only have a couple of servers running right now and one of them is just um, for fun um, I'm gonna close this off for the winter and I have this very nice little needle bag with a blanket inside so um, yeah <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna insulate that really well. <laughs> so uh, back to a more normal view. Today I'm gonna put in the the UPS down here. We took that out a couple of videos, well, some videos ago. Uh, it was an HP UPS. It had a burn connection on the back, and I have a couple of IBM UPSs that um, I'm gonna take the top one and put that in, and we're gonna see if that works as good as um, expected. Uh, we're gonna be using the batteries from the HP UPS because that's the only good battery bank that I have for it and uh, Those two UPS's the HP and the IBM one. It's exactly the same UPS Both of them are just branded. There might be some software that are different uh, Because of course HP delivered their own HP software for the box and IBM has their own IBM software not sure we're gonna get to that today, but um yeah, if, if I can just get power on the box, I will actually be happy. So down here on the floor, we have those UPSs. I don't have a bit of light. So what is this? Uh, is that, that's, hmm. that's rails. We're gonna use those, awesome. APC rails, okay. I am sure we can use APC rails for our IBM UPS. That's gonna work fine. This old APC. Uh, wonder when I have been using that. Hmm. Okay. Probably just should throw that out. We're gonna take the top one, but let's just put in those rails first. It's heavy. It, it weighs. It says here that it weighs 39 kilograms. Over here it says that it can weigh from 32 to 55 kilograms. Make up your bloody mind, will you? So it's going to be sitting on top of this Hewlett Packard um, storage box. And let's see those rails that I just... I didn't even know that I had these. Looks cool. Are they long enough? They're long enough. Cool. And there's another one for the other side. These are aluminium. Normally you don't see aluminium here. You always see uh, iron rails. That's gonna be cool. It just needs to sit on something. I'm sure this will be all good. So I'll figure out how to mm, screw this in. I think that needs to go there. And there is even screws in that box. So awesome. Okay, so um, we're gonna, gonna put these in. Uh, the reason you put in rails is more or less so that the box is not sitting on top of the HP box here. So if I wanted to pull out the HP box, well, the UPS would not fall down. And that's, um, that's very handy. I'll put in some more of these screws. Hmm, it's so weird. I have no idea if I'm doing this right, but there is, there is kind of a washer here. And I thought that I would just put that through through there. I don't know how many screws we should put in this. Uh, it is a little bit heavy. It's not unreasonably heavy. So let's let's put in let's put in just these three. That that should be good. I'm sure. So it's kind of the same system on the back here. Um, the frets are in the in the rails themselves, so very easy to mount. Uh, very impossible camera angle out here. 
So uh, we're gonna see if we can if we can handle this. There, the other side, impossible to film. Oh yeah, I would like to send a thank you to Thomas from Germany who um, offered me to send some rails for, for my UPS here. Uh, as you can see Thomas, I actually just found some in a box. I didn't even know that I had these, but I'm not very good at throwing stuff out. So, um, but thank you for offering, that was really nice of you. Let's see if the UPS fits in here, otherwise I might have to take you up on that offer. It's not that heavy. Okay, let's just have a look at it. It says here that it's manufactured for IBM, so they're not even trying to tell you that this is an IBM. They want it just to... Uh, I'm, I can't remember who makes these. But well, the display looks just like on the HP, the buttons are a little bit different. Something was... Okay, we have the, we have the metal thing for the front. That is in there. I wonder if there is any screws for that. Hmm. Might have to check if they came out, come out when I tip it over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want those in there. Screws and bolts for the... Yeah, my problem is that there should be one more. So we need to shake it a bit more. Okay. Last one. Check. No more loose screws in there. Let's see the back now we are at it. First we see that there is no burn connections. There is load 1, load 2 and load 3. Even has on off switches that are blocked off. But well you can actually turn those on and off. Then we have a power input and a power output. Might be the other way around. That's the power input and that's the power output. And then we have battery date <laughs> back in 2003. Well those batteries are long time gone. Made in Mexico. We have an X slot multi server module. So it has six ports here for telling servers that, whoa, we are now on emergency power. Shut the fuck down. Well, it says it more politely, but it's, it's the general idea. So, yeah, let's, um, let's pop this in and pop the battery bank into it. I remember it as being a lot more heavy. This is, this is definitely manageable. It actually hits the bloody rails. Yeah. Okay. Whew. I could actually screw it down. There is uh, holes here to mount the UPS firmly into the rack. I am not hoping that this UPS would want to go out by itself. Uh, so we are just gonna leave it there. Uh, don't think. <clears throat> Should we? Nah. 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 Let's leave it there. Let's get the batteries in. When I took this battery pack out of the Hewlett Packard uh, UPS, uh, it, uh, it broke the tape. Uh, as I have replaced the batteries in this, everything is taped back together. So I'm gonna be putting on a little bit of replacement tape here. I got this very nice electric tape here of um, Marcus in Germany who sent this along with a lot of cool tools. So I'm gonna be putting on a piece of that. If it will stick there. Sticky tape is the best tape. Scissors. There. Uh, this, it's very cool out here, and cool doesn't, well, it doesn't do a good job together with tape. So uh, let's see if we can, if we can manage anyway. P 
plus there has been some acid leaking out of some previous batteries which has uh, well it's kind of sitting on the plastic here making it very not easy for tape to to fit on there so well first piece of tape i'm gonna put this m3 tape on top of that that's uh, something that i bought very cheaply in lidl um i like lidl for that like you saw the plastic bag in there little plastic bag um not sponsored but uh, call me so let's see there we are cut that off yeah this is my macgyver server server fixing right here or as i call it ninja tricks um, on the back. Ooh, fits in the hole. That was it. Okay, let's see if we can persuade this to go into the UPS. Um, the battery contains of 10 cells in all. There are five batteries here, and there's another five batteries here, and combined it's a 120 volt system. Uh, those 120 volts, it, I think it makes those inside. I forget. I think it actually fits this way. So very carefully. Put that in there. Connect it. I'm hoping nothing exploding yet. Then we're gonna put this metal thing key on here. Mm, it goes that way. A little bit of uh, persuasion, and um, I think we got it. So we're gonna put these in. I am just gonna hand tighten them because I'm gonna be taking them out again, and they don't need to be tight, they just need to be there so that they are out of the way and we have this thing here let's put that oh, let's put that on uh, somehow it looks very very old yeah nothing to do about that okay we're gonna plug the ups in again oh it's done from the back here Oh, if this is gonna blow, it's gonna blow big. So let's, let's do that. Okay. It uh, it has power and it sees power. It looks good. Uh, I found out why I should have mounted it. Okay. I should have dusted it off as well, but I'm not gonna do that when there's power on it. Okay, it's still powered on. I dug up my old laptop here and I've connected the serial connection from the UPS down there. The idea was really that I wanted <laughs> to download the IBM software for this, but IBM somehow, um, well, they wanted me to get the latest and greatest software. I did get that. Um, but then it didn't have a serial connection communication thing and then I found that this HP software that I was using on the other UPS also works on this UPS because they are more or less the same UPS right now we are not using any power whatsoever I haven't connected anything to the UPS so I thought that I should just try and that should be that one so if I just go around the back and connect uh, one of the power supplies on my 24-7 server to the UPS we should be able to see some something happen okay did we see anything did it update not really it did actually move up just a tiny little bit it says that we are are putting 120 watts so um, yeah it is doing a little bit, a few percent here, four percent. I don't know if that adds up, but well, it's 
probably does. So I'm just gonna end the video here because I just needed to put that UPS in so that I could get on to other projects. I took the HP UPS out because it had that burn connection and because it was doing weird stuff. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but well, I thought that I would um, try one of these IBMs instead. Um, I would like one of those connectors to put in the back so that you can actually connect the UPS to the network. I'm pretty sure I should have one of those laying around here somewhere, but right now I have no idea where it is. So, but with this UPS installed, I can get on to uh, the next project. I should really install some more equipment out here. It's so bloody cold. It's not, not even fun to be out here right now. I have consolidated too much of my hardware out here to even keep a decent temperature in the data center. It's embarrassing. But uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Remember to give the video a like. Have a nice day. Bye bye.